My name is Michael McMahon, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing a book review on Running with the Buffaloes by Chris Lear. This book is about the University of Colorado men's cross country team in 1998 and about the season, about the journey, about all the workouts, about the struggles and everything. And I think that this is a very good book. The hour was a Il Molino, a Soto Soto just talking women in vino. The contract like 91 Dan Marino. I swear this guy. The book is broken down into a lot of chapters, which are all sort of journal entries of what the team did on a certain day. These provide very good insight into every single day of their training. Not literally every single day, some days are skipped. But you get to know exactly what the team did. And because Chris Lee, or the person who's writing it, was with the team during the season, he gets people's remarks and how they're feeling on every single day. So it's interesting to see how, on one day, how this person remarks that his shin is hurting turns out to be a stress fracture or something like that a week later. Now, I would say that runners will enjoy this book most because it has a lot of information about what workouts are doing and if you're not a runner you may not understand the true difficulty of the workouts that they're doing and how many miles a hundred miles a week is which these guys are running also even if you're not a runner the just the grit that these people have and their endurance and their ability to keep going and everything and their ability to cope with loss as one of a teammate on the team dies in the middle of the season, not from running, but it's a very good book to teach lessons, even if you're not a runner. However, I do think that runners will enjoy it most, and I am a runner. I enjoyed it a lot because I got to see just what college cross-country team trains like and everything. It's very interesting. I do have one big complaint with the book, that the first chapter, the first section, is at the national meet so you kind of know who's going to be there from the beginning and it kind of takes away from the fight that some people have to make the team if you know they're not going to be on it it's not as interesting i wish they didn't have that or had it abbreviated or something but other than that i have zero complaints with the book it's very good i liked it a lot it's one of my favorite books of all time i would give it five stars easily um, it's very well written. You can tell that they put a lot of effort into it. On this page, they made a table of where everyone finished in the race, which is so nice. You can see their times and their pace even, their placing. It, I, it's a very good book. Highly recommended. Highly, highly recommended. Running with the Buffaloes by Chris Lear. A season inside with Mark Wetmore, Adam Gusher. And the University of Colorado men's cross country team. Very good book. Five stars. But don't just take my word for it. I'm going to bring in an expert reviewer who has also read the book, my brother, Joseph McMahon. Joe, please give us your thoughts on the book. Well, you see, I thought it was um, a very good book, very inspiring, and a good look in a season of the college runners. But um, it was pretty sad, but that's. But that just added to the story. Um, it was very inspiring because the people, um, the the people, um, the Colorado runners had a great season and went through many struggles through the season uh, with injuries and some of their best runners um, being being seriously um, injured. Yeah, seriously injured. Shows you can never give up, right? Yeah, and, um, you know, it's a great book for, like, any runners or anyone interested in running or just people in general because mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's a really good book all around. 